It's one of those fall days. We're loving it. Pouring down rain. Beautiful That's rainbow. Hot is how you cook hot and my dogs. crazy brother on the grill. That is how you cook hot dogs. How do you cook hot dogs? Oh. Look at the little grill marks. Right? These are getting ready to flip here. You got some good grill marks going on here. Oh yeah. You got some locally sourced seasoning from some dude in Houston. This is a good, good powder. So, a little shaky shaky, little nummy nummy. Should I stop? <laughs> yeah. We're going to have burgers and dogs with um, Zach's mother in law. The girls, they call her Gran. It's uh, their grandma. Mm. And. Couldn't ask for a better fall day to do it. I Let's mean, it's go. just, it's Man. just, yeah. I love the rain. Woo! I wanna know, have you ever met Lorraine? Hey guys, we are going to do some gardening today and I'm gonna dig up the potatoes that Bonnie and Emma and I planted over was it three months ago, maybe four months ago? The plants are not quite yet wilting, um, but they are starting to die off. And I don't want to chance the potatoes rotting in the ground. It's been a really cold, uh, wet summer and fall. And so I'm going to uh, remove any doubts and get them out of the ground now. I've got my helpers with me today. They are super excited about uh, digging the potatoes up and I'm going to use a pitchfork style tool. I'll also use a spade and we'll just root around with our hands and try to dig them up. So we're gonna find out what we've got here and uh, we'll get after it. Another, another one. Oh, nice. this one's the biggest okay, so out. far. Ooh, look at those. Ooh, Emma, three. get over there by um, daddy and get your hands dirty looking for taters. The tater tops. <gasps> Potato. Nice, we those are pretty good Taters are good for like hey, Emma, anything. Do, Emma, do you want to try and get a potato? They're so delicious. You can put them in your macaroni and cheese. Ew, no. So I um, came out to start the generator to dry some laundry and I thought, hey, I'll be Joe's cameraman for a couple minutes. Interesting, look at this. So this is one of the plants and this is one of the ones that Bonnie and I cut in half. Good job. Uh, to, oh, that was the starter. Yeah, that was oh, the starter of the seed potato. Oh. So. Oh, it's called the seed potato. Seed potato, yeah. Uh, uh, it's called the yeah. seed tater. Seed tater. Eileen Bell, what's another name tater. for uh Prati. <laughs> Prati. <laughs> Man, that hang on, don't get your fingers in there. Okay. Oh, there's one. There we go. Put that in the bucket. So out of like 12 inches of dirt, you got one tater? Well, the first plant had like, what, four, five, six? Yeah, we got oh. quite a few already. We got a big one too. Okay. So I'm hoping these plants are a lot better because these, this last row yeah. uh, of the yeah. seed potatoes were all the ones that we cut Look in half to try ready. to extend or get more and try them. I told you guys in that first video wow. when we planted them this that the, the ones you cut in I, half I in this region, they're more susceptible to rot. Uh, most places, maybe the lower 48 states, you're not going to deal with that. But up here, we have to be careful with that. So far, no rot, but uh, we're not showing much yield from these seed potatoes that we cut in half. Look at all those potatoes. Crotty. <laughs> Eileen Bell, what is that? Oh, I see one. What's that book that you read Can with the word crotties in it? Um, here, it's called sediment. Um, Jamie O'Rourke and the Big Potato. That's Okay, so in a so we put this one in, in a four foot stretch from like here to there. So There's another one. one. That's maybe three or four feet. Okay, Emma, do you want to take this tiny little one? Pick it. That's a tiny one. Hey, put, put that in the bucket. Show Uncle Jack that one. Look how small that one is. Cool. Thumbs up. Yeah, that's... <gasps> Emma. That's, That's a seed, a seed potato seed. Emma. there, but sure. Emma, so good. can you give me thumbs up? You should just leave it on the ground. Awesome. Right? Right. We'll have to come back through and rake these. High five. 
put all these nice. in the mulch area. Look at all these potatoes. Yeah, doing cool. cool. So oh, cool. that's almost what we started with as far as seed potatoes. Yeah. So. Look at that. Wow, potato. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that's a nice that's size one. That's a good one. one. Cool. Can I put those yeah. in? All right, that's what we got, guys. Three short rows, about a half of a five gallon bucket. You know what? It's better than I was expecting because we didn't have much garden space and it was a cold, like I said, wet summer. So this is a nice yield. This is uh, probably quadruple of what we planted. So it, uh, it worked out. All right, guys, we finished harvesting our potatoes and now moves on to a more critical aspect of the potato harvesting is curing the potatoes. Now what I've learned is you want to put them in a very dark place. It's pref preferable that it's a cool, cooler place. You don't want it hot, uh, but the darkness is key because light, uh, any kind of light can damage the potatoes uh, to the point of it can, it can make them green. If you see uh, potatoes in the store that are green, um, those are not good potatoes. They've been exposed to a lot of light during the curing process and they can even be poisonous actually. So I'm going to find a cool dark spot and for us that's going to be our outside pantry. There's no windows, no cracks, no, uh, no, no light coming in at all. And it'll be cool because it's it's an outside building. I'm gonna set them in there for a week to 10 days. I'm gonna allow some air circulation around them. You want them to, uh, the outsides to kind of dry out and cure. After that process, a week to 10 days in a dark, cool location, you're gonna wanna handle the potatoes. Depending on how many you've harvested, this could be a pain in the butt. But I guess it's very crucial in determining if there was any damaged potatoes, if there was any soft spots on your potatoes, any blemishes, anything like that, broken skins, you're gonna to wanna to cull those out and use those potatoes first. They're not bad potatoes, you just, they're not gonna be good for long-term storage if they have a broken skin or a soft spot like I, I had mentioned. And when you handle them after they've been cured for that week to 10 days, you're gonna to wanna to rub off any excess dirt uh, that's on them. Get as much off of that as you can uh, without damaging the skin, obviously. Uh, just brush it off with, and it'll be nice dry, uh, powdery dirt at that point. And then you can go ahead and, and put them into storage, your cold storage, uh, your, your cellar, your pantry, wherever that may be. One other thing that you can do is you can uh, size your potatoes. I've heard people say that smaller potatoes don't last near as long in storage. And so you can um, pull out your smaller ones and make sure you use those first and your bigger potatoes will last longer and you can use them last. So. That's what I'm gonna do next. Go find a spot in our outside pantry to store these potatoes and let them cure, like I said, for a week to 10 days, and then uh, we'll move on to the storage aspect of them. The Monte Brothers. <laughs>